Hello, this is Dave Vallette of Vault Solutions, and I'm here to show you our Archive Accelerator export product that can export data from Symantec's Enterprise Vault archives. So Symantec Enterprise Vault uh, has a, a way actually to export archives natively uh, from within the Management Console. So if I go into this um, console here, this is the Enterprise Vault Management Console, I can right click on this uh, archives uh, section here and say export. It brings me through a wizard and you can pretty much just take the defaults here. You're going to export to a PST file. Uh, I'm going to list the available archives here and I'll just select a, a few of these to do and uh, tell it I want to export all of the items and where I want to export them to and what what type of PST file I'd like to use and uh, and then I can confirm my settings and then it will start to do the export. So fairly easy to run through this wizard. Now you notice here though that this is an interactive process and uh, it's exporting one PST file at a time. When it's done this PST file, it will go on to, to the next one. But if I, uh, but I'm logged in here and if I log off, of course it will stop uh, the export. So you need to have this account logged in during the entire export process. And if you're doing hundreds of archives, um, uh, certainly if you're doing thousands of archives, this is a problem. There's customers that need to do 10,000 10, or hundreds of thousands of archives. So this can be uh, a bit of a problem. So we came up with a sort of a, a robust way to be able to do, you know, tens of thousands of archives very easily. So I'll show you how that process works. On the left-hand side here, you see that along with the same uh, management console, we've got the Archive Accelerator Management Console snap-in. And there's a, a number of things along the left here, and uh, this covers some of the products that we have that are, um, we've, we've got video demos of those on YouTube as well. But I'm just showing you the export today. So under export, I can go to the uh, export and um, list the vault stores. Within the vault store I can see a, a number of archives and I can select the archives that I want to export and say um, select for export and then this will um, cause these to be in a state that the service will go ahead and pick them and select them to to export when the service runs. Now normally you would just have this uh, service running all the time but I've, uh, I'll start it here and um, and once it started uh, it actually, you notice that it starts to uh, pick up these archives that I've selected and it will start doing the export. So this is our jobs list view and a jobs list view shows you uh, for Archive Accelerator uh, what it's actually doing at any given time. In this case it shows you the archives that it's exporting. Uh, it actually shows you what, what, what folder it's exporting, how many it's done. And as you can see, it's doing multiple at the same time. So that's one of the benefits of, of doing this. Also, uh, this is not an interactive process. So I'm just monitoring what's going on here. But in fact, this is actually being exported by the Windows service in the background. So I can log off, come back the next day, and uh, and check on the status of this. Now we have a rate report here. And this rate report shows you um, uh, you can either see by the minute how many it's uh, processed for that minute uh, for the last 20 minutes or you can do that by the hour as well. So typically you would use this view to come in here and um, in the morning for example uh, log in and see uh, how it's been doing during the course of the night. Uh, it also uh, logs uh, any failed items and you can click on this failed export items list and select the ones that have failed for whatever reason and we've got some here that were just uh, crept items so I can um, retry these so if this was a, a, a thing that could be uh, fixed and uh, perhaps the storage uh, vault store was offline or something like that then I can go ahead and uh, retry the export and um, so I don't need to export the entire archive again in order to uh, handle those conditions so uh, some of the benefits of using this product of, uh, over the built-in uh, export capabilities are that it can do uh, 10 archives simultaneously. It's multi-threaded. Uh, it leaves an audit trail. So we have a um, list, a uh, complete audit trail of every item that was archived. Uh, the rate reports that I showed you, the fact that you can schedule this, uh, for example, not to run during backups and things like that. It can export to PST or MSG file 
and it can it has an option to uh, retry failed items. So this has been um, a demo of Vault Solutions Archive Accelerator Export product. Thank you very much.